Hello everyone, this is Funks My Name and um, I have the pleasure of showing you some basic scripts. Um, well, I don't know how complicated they are, but um, they're very simple to use. Uh, created by Ramon Lopez during the beta phase. Um, and I use them all the time. I think they're really great. If you're, if you're getting into smart bones, they're really, really useful. Um, what they do is they're a very quick and easy way of adding and editing smart bone actions to do with any particular bone without having to scan through a huge list of of um, things here. You'll see that if you watch the um, Lost Marble webinar about the launch of the new features, Mike was scrolling around and trying to find the actual bones. And if he had a known, the actions rather, if he had a known about this script, maybe he wouldn't have had to. So I'll just demonstrate it for you. Got a very simple um, layer here, bone layer. These bones have no influence over anything. And you'll notice here I've got a little smart bones section. And uh, I think these icons are quite cute, although Roman doesn't really like them all that much. Um, there's a plus sign for the smart bone. And what that does is re I've already named this something. It, it's You can just leave it on the default name, but it's always useful to name it something not literally name it something, but you know, name it anything you like. And pressing the plus button will create the first bone action for that bone. You'll see here that the smart bone has been created. I'm now in, in the actions edit um, mode. So all I need to do is rotate this and make some changes to the points. And then all I need to do is click that again and I go back to the timeline where I was. Um, so at any point in the timeline, if even if I had a very complex rig, I can just select any bone, in this case this bone, click the one and that will go to the first action ready to edit, click it again, back to there. So that's like really, really useful. You press plus again, it creates the second. So now I can quickly go between editing modes of the first and second bone. And if I'm in the second and I click second again, back to the timeline. So I go to the second, I'm on the bone layer, rotate it the other way, go to the point layer, and then I'll make changes here again, uh, this way this time, let's say. And again, I'm in the second one, so I press number two, back to the timeline. So now this, let me get back to the bone layer, this action has been created, very simple, all, you know, I didn't have to worry about naming smart bone actions, any of that stuff, it's all automatic. I just can go back into one and two. If I don't like two, I can press minus, it'll ask me if I wanna delete it. Proceed with that, and you'll see that it's back to normal. Now there is no two, press plus again, and start again if you need to. I mean, you can always just edit number two, but if you only wanted one, then that's what you do to get rid of it. If I pressed um, minus while I'm on one, it will get rid of one, or it will go back to one. In fact, what will it do? Let me just go back to number one, delete that. Yeah, so two is still active because this has got a space two on it, and pressing one goes to one. So now I'm on the first action again, turn, oh, which way? Yeah, I got rid of that, so that's this way. And that's this way. So let's go to number two. Oh, hold on. I've confused myself. Yeah, that's right. So now I'll go the other way with this. Oh, I've done it again, haven't I? There we go. So you see how quick and easy it is to actually create your smart bone actions using this script. Um, and what gets even easier is that I've added, sh well, he showed me how to, but um, this will be in the documentation that I've included. These four buttons are mapped to my to four buttons next to from M onwards next to the right shift key. So all I need to do is select a bone, press the M key, which takes me into the first action, and from there on in, if I press the um, if I press the comma key, it will take me in and out of the first action for that. And if I press M again, it will add the second one. That will be the second one. So now that's the full stop key. So if I press comma and full stop, it will take me from the bone to its 
any one of its two um, actions and back to the timeline. So it's a really, really fast and easy workflow for working with smart bones, especially when you've got loads and um, really, really fantastic. I just um, give you a little bonus bit of information in case you're wondering. If you rename the bone, obviously smart bones stop working. So if I want to call this something else, for example, and now these do not work again. So what's happened is it's been disassociated with the bones here. But all I need to do is... Uh, oh, actually, they've been deleted. That's interesting. Oh, no, they haven't. Because they're not associated, they're not showing in the smart bones drop down. So that's why they're not here anymore. They've been turned into normal morphs because I've only got one frame. If they had multiple frames, they'd move to the regular. So if I go to all, I see that these two actions are still here. And all I need to do is rename them to something. Oh, spell that right. Something else and something else too. And now, hopefully, what we'll find is that they're back in the smart bones and clicking this has brought them back into one and two. So if you ever want to rename a bone after you've already created actions, there's, there's no problem with doing that. All you need to do is just remember to rename your old actions and um, don't worry if they disappear from your smart bones tab, they'll be in the regular morphs or definitely in the all, all um, tab. So I hope that was useful. I'm going to zip up all the script files you need and I'll put in the code um, and the instructions with it in a readme as well as in the post that's going to go with this um, video. So I hope that was useful and don't thank me, thank Ramon <laughs> and uh, I'll see you around the forum. Cheers.